So I joined Brackets Game Jam 2023 and I actually forgot about it when I was registering for it so I came unprepared when it was going to start. So the theme for the Game Jam is diving deep which could mean anything, it could be diving deep into the ocean or diving deep into uh, finding out what uh, certain information. So I was thinking of using the 2D game project that was collecting dust in my storage. It was actually supposed to be a 2.5D game that I was talking about in the last video about the FPS game that I was working on. Well, that project got scrapped due to certain circumstances. Anyways, Metal Slug Awakening recently released and I used to play a lot of Metal Slug when I was a kid on my PlayStation 2. Yes, in case you don't know, Metal Slug has PlayStation 2 port. All the 6, including 3D. Anyways, when I saw Metal Slug, I had some idea so I tried to make my own version of Metal Slug which is instead of side scrolling it's top down. So when the game jam started I created a new project set up some sprite and player movements and simple enemy AI and I have this. Also I have to mention that some of the sprites are from Undead Survivor that you can get from the asset store but I modified some of those sprite and changed how the char character looks. With all that done I went to bed and continue on the next day. So the next day started I created a to-do list in Trilo, 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 whatever regarding to the core things I should make for the game. First things first I will be making one of those power-ups that gives you different weapons similar to Metal Slug's power-ups like heavy machine gun, rocket launcher, and so on. But I only plan to make two power-ups, so I still have enough time to do different things. After all those trial and error, I am very happy that I got this result. I tried to maintain the full pixel art style, but then I decided to hybrid the pixel art style with normal 2D art, specifically for the VFX. And here are the results. I'm very happy on what I came up with. The next thing I did was arrange enemy. I used two different methods when it comes to enemy AI. The melee AI movement is controlled by A star Pathfinder. What is A star Pathfinder you may ask? Well it's a nav mesh that supports 2D since Unity has a support nav mesh for two dimensional games yet. As far as I know, if they actually support it now please let me know, it could be it, it's really useful in future. Well the melee AI is the only enemy that uses the A star pathfinding system. Other than that, I just use simple move towards player movement method for the range enemy so we can control the movement when it comes to retreating and creating distance between it and the player. Since I cannot figure out how to make it work with the A star pathfinding system. With that's done, I created a boss. I wanted again to have a little bit of bullet hell elements into it so I make the boss attacks at certain time and vulnerable to attacks in certain time. With all those done, I didn't have much time left so I rushed the game and this is the result after I make the maps and so on and so forth. But before I show the full gameplay, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have made this far and also get my game, Balls on the Fence, available on Google Play Store. I hope you guys support me and with the earnings I have from Balls on the Fence, it will also help me with the development on my unnamed FPS project. Anyways, with that said, here is the game. Enjoy.